Hey yo, what's up? So we are here being consistent, consistently uploading. So if you like this level of content, help your boy out with that subscribe button, and I really appreciate it. Like the video as well. Yeah. So today I'm here to partner with my good friends at Intersense. So this is not even a sponsored ad. As you all know, these guys have amazing, amazing uh products. So I'm here to show you one that really doesn't even require any uh, coding whatsoever. But it will really allow you, if you are a freelancer or something of the sort, to be able to easily request a payment for from a client with all the good payment uh, services already included. So you can request to be paid via Bitcoin, via Cash App, via uh, Card, via M-Pesa, all that. So to get started with this, all you have to do is head over to your dashboard. Then what you want to do is request a payment. So let me show you how the service works. So once you request a payment, just click on send request. So what you want to do is enter the name of your client. So let me just do test. And then for the last name, I'm going to do so. Then for the email, let me use my own email. And uh, you can set the phone number, but it is an optional uh, input field. So you want to also set the currency uh, from which you want to request this payment. So I'm just going to set USD. And I'm going to set the amount to maybe $10, something of the sort. And the reason maybe let me say payment. Sorry. Let me say payment for work done, something of the sort. Great. So once you have done that, you can also set an auto reminder, like maybe remind the client after every two days that they have to make this payment. So let me just do maybe after a day. Then you can also choose the, the mobile tariff who will incur these charges. So let me just do customer who will pay the charges. And let's just click send request. So that's it. Literally, uh, <clears throat> this has already been generated. So I can now copy this to the clipboard or I can share this via WhatsApp. So if I go ahead and, and go and paste this link on my new tab, you will see it will generate for me a checkout link where I will have this user interface where someone can easily make payments without writing a single line of code. But if I go ahead and check out my mail, I can go ahead and check out my mailbox and I will have a new email that will also be letting me know that a client has requested payment or maybe the service provider needs to get paid and I will have a very good interface for making such a payment. So let me just go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, uh, zero minutes, hi, you've got a, a payment request from Toxic IQ for $10. So if I go ahead and click pay now, of course, I will also get redirected to the same checkout page that I had seen before. So within this page, of course, if you go ahead and click on pay now, you will have all the options associated with that. Uh, uh, by default, if you use the US dollar, you will have this card, Bitcoin, and cash app. So that way your clients can easily pay you with their preferred method. But let's go ahead and maybe uh, create one for, for maybe just uh, the Kenya shilling wallet. That will mean that they only create for maybe the Visa card and the Pesa. So as you can see from the interface, you'll also be able to track if this particular user actually made the payment. So let me change this to maybe Kenya shilling and the reason let me do client something after two days, okay. And then just same same drill, send request. Okay, you cannot put in the amount, so let's do 100 shillings. Okay, send request. Yeah, so we have that link as well. So let me just hit back here and give it a refresh. So there's a request to pay Kenya shillings 100. If I go ahead and click that link, mm -hmm. as you can also see, you also have some questions about this invoice where they can reach out directly via email, which is actually a very nice feature. So if I go ahead into this checkout and click on pay now, you'll see that the options that I have for this is actually just uh, <clears throat> the M-Pesa and the Visa card. So it is convenient if you're receiving payments from local clients or international clients. So yeah, that was a quick tip, a quick snippet for you guys to enjoy. And hopefully this will really help you out.
uh, while you're actually doing this work and getting paid. So yeah, if this helps you out, be sure to smash like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.